weeks ago, we added a new member to the family. He is a Chinese crested, and he's being really good right now. Now we decided not to tape his ears, so he has one ear that's up and one ear that flops over. Aw, I love you too. And since I have a new puppy, I think Mini Toya needs one too. I want to try needle felting, so I bought a kit on Amazon. I've tried this in the past with not great success, but I really want to learn this, so I figured today is a good day to try. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, so uh, yeah, let's get started because practice makes better. This is a book I bought a few years ago from Barnes & Noble, and I'm hoping it'll give me a few tips. There are no instructions in here on how to make a Chinese crested, but I think we can just improvise. For this project, we are using wool. I have a charcoal gray and an almost white, I think it's called Shetland, and a really soft pink. Chinese cresteds are prone to wool allergies, so Bowie will never meet his mini-me, but that's okay because puppies and small objects aren't a good combination anyway. I am also using a felting pad, a felting needle, something to protect my fingers, plastic eyes, pliers, and needle and thread. It is very easy to find a kit containing all of these items on Amazon. My kit was like $15. I am also using pipe cleaners to help shape the body. I lay them side by side and begin twisting them in the middle to get a length a little less than two and a half inches. I'm going to make the legs two inches each by folding the pipe cleaner and twisting it. And I repeated for all four legs. I take a small piece of wool and I'm going to wrap it around the legs. I'm starting pretty thin because I figure I can always add more. But if I make it too bulky, that might be difficult to work with. So we're just adding a very thin layer of wool. Place it onto the mat, then use the needle and kind of just poke at it. And the more you poke at it, it just makes it like stick together. And if you do have areas that are a little too puffy, you just poke at them a whole bunch and they get a little smaller. The needle really does help you to shape it. This is a tiny bit time consuming. I should totally wear these before we have an accident. So let's put on the little finger protectors because this needle isn't just a regular sewing needle, it has little barbs on it, so getting poked by it is going to be awful. Now we can continue. And the instruction said, try not to stab the mat too much because it's very easy to break these thin little needles. So I'm really just trying to poke the wool and avoid the pipe cleaner. Repeat for the other legs, wrap more wool around the torso and felt it. So after about 15 minutes of just felting the body, this is where we are. I'm gonna go ahead and bend the legs so that it kind of takes on a dog shape or some kind of animal shape. I feel like this is way too big to be Bowie as a puppy. More like Bowie as a full grown dog. But you know what? We're just gonna go with it. And he's actually kind of a light pink. So I'm gonna take some of this light colored wool and a little bit of pink. And we're just gonna mix the two colors together. Now we have a nice little blend. It's kind of pink, but not like super pink. And I'm just gonna cover the body with this mixed color. Then felt it. I'm gonna add some more wool to the back legs to build that area up. Let's add some to the rib cage, then just blend that right in. And I want to kind of define the muscles for the arms and the back legs. So I just keep poking at those areas, pushing them down to try to make the shape. My pink blending isn't the best. 
And I think this side looks a little better than this side. I'm not symmetrical, y'all. But this is our first one, so uh, let's get points for effort. Let's set the body aside, then take some more wool, and I'm gonna just kind of bunch it on itself. Actually, I think you're supposed to roll it, so let's try rolling it. And now we can felt it to try to make the head. It's gonna be like an egg shape. You see me just poke my finger? I'm so happy I'm wearing these little finger protectors. I don't know, does that look a little small to you? Maybe when we're adding the ears and the fluff, it'll all balance out. I'm gonna add some fluff right here on the body. This is about where we're gonna put the neck. Let's decide where to place the head. I'm thinking right about there. Then begin felting it in place. I can see it starting to take shape. And I'm thinking this project was a little ambitious for someone who's just starting needle felting, but you know what? You don't know until you try, so we're trying. It kind of looks like a dog. Not sure if it's a Chinese crested, but definitely getting some dog vibes. Let's felt two little triangles. Maybe it's more of an egg shape. I'm going to felt some pink on the inside. Take a tiny amount of the charcoal gray and let's try to form that into a ball. Flip the ear over to the back, place the gray on top, then felt it in place. To make a spot, repeat to make more then let's take it, place it onto the dog, right by the head. One ear is larger than the other, but that's okay because we're gonna fold this one over anyway and felt it a little to make it stay in place. Let's add some spots to his face. Bowie has a large spot over one eye. Continue adding spots all around the body. Wow, that took a couple of hours. I'm using some black wool for the nose. I take a small piece and we're just gonna roll it kind of into a ball, place it on the dog's muzzle, and we're just gonna felt that into place. Ouch. Okay, I was pretty neat that time. I'm using some scissors to hollow out a small hole so I can insert the eye pegs. Take the off-white color, I pull a nice little tuft of hair, place it on the back of the neck, and then just felt one side. So the rest hangs loose. Continue going all the way up the neck between the ears, then in front of the ears, and I added a little streak of charcoal gray to give him a little mane. And I forgot to give him a tail. I add loose wool to the back. Add some longer wool around the lower parts of the legs. I'm adding it in just small amounts. Trim off the excess to complete our very first needle felted Chinese crested. I went into this thinking that I could get it done in like a few hours and uh, no. This took me three days. I believe a lot of that has to do with the fact that I am just a beginner and this is very intricate work because you're literally turning this into this by repeatedly poking it with a needle. This is definitely one of those situations where practice makes better. This dog is definitely not a puppy. More like Bowie in about a year. I think with practice I can do better, but this will do for now. Our little pup is going to need a collar. I'm using embroidery floss and a clipboard. I cut four strands, three blue, one white, and they're all about two and a half feet long. Tie them onto a clipboard we're just going to make a really long friendship bracelet by making a four, then take the thread underneath and then pull it to the top. Take that string, that, the blue one, and we're gonna move it to the side. 
Then take the white one and do it again. Make a four, lift it up, pull the thread at the top, then go to the next one and make the four, pull it to the top and repeat. Once the whole thing has been tied, I have a little over 12 inches. Measure a length to fit around the dog's neck, overlap it and glue it down. Cover the end with glue to seal the edges and prevent them from unraveling. Trim off the excess, turn it to hide the glue in the back under the hair. Add a jump ring for a little detail. Take the leftovers, fold over one end and glue it down to make a loop. Glue a jump ring onto the other end. Add a lobster clasp to make a matching leash. So Minnie Toya can take Minnie Bowie on a walk. And since he has a wire frame, we can move his legs to make different poses. I can even bend his body a little. So cool! Oh my goodness! If I was only better at needle felting, this would be perfect! I can't wait to make the next one. But it's gonna be a few days. I mean, seriously, this took a lot out of me. Thank you for joining us while we needle felted a miniature Bowie. I better hurry up and go because somebody wants my attention. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye. You're the only thing I